I just recently got a tattoo. It says, if you were absent during my struggle, don't expect to be present during my success. And what that means is, like when I was about 13, I first started working with James. People were like, oh, he's just getting recognized because he's Shaq's son. He's not gonna be that good. He's not gonna be a high like caliber player. But since I proved everybody wrong, people are like, oh, like let me do this with you. Or like, come here and talk to these kids. Like people who weren't really messing with me like back when I wasn't one of like the top players are just coming into my, like trying to come to my life now. So I'm just not really letting them distract me. So I just got a tattoo for it. And just so people know not to hop on the bandwagon when I, when I prove everybody wrong again. Shout out to Home Team Hoops. Home Team Hoops. So everybody, this is my time for. Where you want to shoot it from? I'm not shooting. I got to wait till practice starts. Here, I'll shoot one time. <laughs> and if I make it, I'm done. I'm done. Oh! Oh! There we go. That's one. I'm on a roll now. You gonna dunk in the game yet? Oh, you did? That's good. Were you hyped? You could do it, bro. Just when you, when somebody jumps you, just push off. Can we get my boy Hoodie J in the shot? He got the hood off today, so he better go off. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot, man. Yeah. All right, dog, I got you. TJ got a concussion, so you have to walk for practice. In practice today, we have it every Monday and Wednesday. It's like, it's not really real practice yet. It's just our skills class, so we just scrimmage and do drills just to get us ready for our real practices. Soon we'll be going uh, back to back every day. Right now we're just getting ready and seeing where everybody should be placed on the team. Today's practice uh, is still skills class. Uh, we do a lot of player development, a lot of shot. You know, just competing, uh, just getting the guys just used to, you know, playing hard. The stuff that we're going to branch off and do once we have practice every single day. Sharif as a player, I mean, I don't know where to begin. His potential is so high. I feel like I'm probably the luckiest man in the world to just come and for my first year to coach. Honestly, he's probably the best player in California. And so that's my my job is to push it out of him and to make everybody see uh, what I see in his potential, you know, is through the roof. Couldn't be more blessed to also have a guy that's so coachable, you know, never gives me a problem. Yes, sir. No, sir. If he gets something wrong, you know, if he has a question, he's always the first to raise his hand and the true leader. I'm so blessed to have a player like that. I mean, the history of the school, great players have come out of here. Austin Crowshore, Baron Davis. I grew up friends with Baron Davis. Uh, he was kind of my mentor. He was the best high school player I've ever seen. And when I've seen him play, I try to stick, you know, with him and he helped me guide me through my career as well. So that's why Crossroads has just been a special place for me. Being at Crossroads is probably my best decision so far. Different from my old school, you know, it's a really good decision. DJ, point guard, he texted me almost every day because he heard that I could potentially be coming here and I feel like Crossroads is now home. Oh, Shakir, I like what I see. He's starting to have some fire under him, uh, which I love. Uh, he can shoot the ball really well. You know, just, just really work on his IQ. I know how it is coming as a freshman to come to play against, you know, seniors and juniors and, 
you know, stuff like that. And I know the game is a little faster for him. So, uh, but he's doing a great job adjusting and, you know, just listening and, you know, being coachable. Let's go. Let's go. This year is going to be a tough one. We have a national schedule. We go to Chicago our first game and play Morgan Park. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one for us. Soon after that, we go to um, Phoenix to play. And we have Sierra Canyon, Cassius, Scotty Pippen's son, KJ. They're all good. The guard from, that they have who's committed to Ohio State, they're all great players, player two. So it's going to be a lot of talent we play this year. Second time I really tried to do the through the legs off one. The off the two is easy for me now. I haven't jumped off one foot since like ninth grade. I got a really bad case of tendonitis last year, so I was just a two foot jumper trying to just keep it safe. Hey! Hey! Shout out to home team. Nah, nah. Hey, hey, hey. Just gotta pull that one off in game. Too. You gotta get that in the strap against him. Yeah, I'm, 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 I gotta wow. do it this year. Hey! Kyrie's, Corey Sanders said, you get saucy like Kyrie. Brandon Jennings. You get saucy like Kyrie. That's why I mean, Kyrie. You get saucy like Kyrie. You got a choice. You got a choice. You're either Kyrie's or Stephen Curry. Oh, man, what's up? Kyrie. No, you're not. He's saying that for the argument. He's saying that for the argument. I'll work Kyrie. Over, over. Kyrie or Kobe are the best shoes. He's just a better player. I like these. Paul George has some good shoes. Paul George has the best shoes. Yeah, Paul George. You said best shoe? Best shoe out right now? Yeah, Paul I yeah, say I'll Kyrie. Kyrie. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I like Kyrie. Kyrie. No, no, no. What are you Kyrie. talking about? No, no, no. You're talking about? <laughs> Bro, it's better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The best player in the league? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is better than LeBron? Where's Kyle Kuzma? All right, then. So LeBron is the greatest. Who got the MVP this year? Okay. Who got? 
Fucking Hollywood. How many views do I have? Three of them hoes? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right then. All right. All right then. You having a chip and double? All right. This then. Then. This is a no. Oh, 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 good people on this. Hey man, what's your problem, man? Katie better than LeBron. LeBron. Whoa. Whoa. That's facts. Whoa. LeBron guarded KD in the finals. Okay, but look, it's easy. Did LeBron guard Curry? And LeBron had KD guard LeBron. If LeBron didn't have Kyrie, he would have lost the finals the first time. Did KD guard Curry? Kyrie saved him. Kyrie saved him. LeBron didn't win. Kevin Durant didn't have all the other people. Wait, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. He led the whole team. KD made the Warriors. Look, KD can't guard LeBron. LeBron can't guard KD. Just leave it at that. They uh, both can't uh, guard each other. Just leave it at that. But who won the championship? Bro, look at the Warriors. Look at the Warriors. Look at the Warriors. He had Kyrie and Kevin Love. It doesn't matter. Kevin Love is trash. Kevin Love is trash. LeBron's best player in the league, right? Yeah, my best player in the league. But we also got like five of them. Did he have like 30? Did he have 30? We're talking about LeBron. It's the team, bro. It's the team. It's the team. But they blew up 3-1 lead. The Warriors had better players. Yeah, but they blew up 3-1 lead. The Warriors had better players. The Warriors had better players. The Warriors had better players. The Warriors had but the Warriors are playing got the L's. No, KD blew a 3-1 lead, what? too. Yes. On exactly. purpose. No, he what? didn't. What? Oh, Get out of here, man. No, no. It was no. not on purpose. No. Oh, no. No. Why did he do that on purpose? Who's in the bro. finals this year? Who's in the finals this year? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe Johnson better than Kobe. <laughs> Kobe and MJ. Uh, bro, it's the same and person. Say, say, oh, yeah, it's yeah, the same it person. Is, is. Kobe and Michael Jordan are the same Kobe, person. Kobe, like, copied everything from MJ. MJ. got six rings. LeBron or Kobe? Oh. Kobe got five. LeBron or Kobe? Because of Shaq. LeBron or LeBron James. LeBron. <laughs> I ain't gonna LeBron's say this. better. <laughs> 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 We're talking about rookie of the year. Oh, yeah. Rookie of the year? Who is rookie of the year? Kuzma? Ben Simmons. Did I say Malik Monk? Is it Ben Simmons technically a... Yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah, rookie yeah, this year. Ben yeah. Simmons. Yeah, De- 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 Fox or Jason Ben Simmons gonna average this thing gonna go by stats, bro. Watch. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna go by stats. Yeah. Ben Simmons gonna get the most stats. Yeah, I say Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons yeah. gonna get the most stats. I'm telling you how the NBA is gonna work. Cause De- most. Uh, we're not talking about talented, bro. You're gonna ben, tell us ben Simmons is gonna, gonna get work. buckets and he's gonna get all those dang assists and all that. <laughs> I think it might be Either Dennis him. Smith Jr. Yeah, or yeah. If they let him play his game. That was my second choice. Don't sleep on Laurie. Who? Oh, Laurie. He went to Arizona. Glory's he plays for the Bulls. Yeah. Glory. Why are you talking to her? This is Jay. Jay Davis. Yeah, yes, sir. Follow me on Instagram. LBS. LBS. Dot two three. This my fake cousin right here, Miles. Miles. Say what's up. That's it, bro. I ain't got nothing to say. No That's Shakir. It's my first time going to school with him. Uh, it's funny. Just He's always keeping everybody laughing. Uh, I think that's just what he does. It's just weird because like, every time I, I'm in class, I just see him walk past. Just, he just always taking bathroom breaks and just walking around. and He just constantly keeps me laughing. He's a ladies' man. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's a ladies' man. He just likes making people laugh, and I mean, that just keeps me happy. I'm actually here with all of my siblings. My sisters go here too, so just seeing them is fun. Here raps too. Oh, the world top of. You can you can make a beat right now. Hey, 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 hey. What next? Shakir can't rap at all. He can't rap at all. Ready? Make the beat. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What? Yo, my name is Shakir. Hey. You know I get buckets. What? I go to Crossroads huh? and... Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> nah. We, we have some songs on GarageBand that we, uh, we made. It's actually a very funny song that me, him, and Bull made a long time ago, but... I'm not gonna share that song. It was horrible. <laughs> That's the shooter, Tamir. So I'm Tamir. I'm from Israel. Hey, follow me on Instagram, Tamir underscore B ball. Yeah. <laughs> o- o- always plug. Always plug. Always plug. Yeah. Oh always plug. Oh my god. Shout out home team. Right? Shout out home team. <laughs> That's DJ right there. The quarterback. Hey, what they say? Follow me on Instagram. The name DJ underscore. I'm getting buckets this year. Me and Rui. You already know. Dynamic duo. What about, what about us, bro? What about us? You know, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit my guy to up. He's gonna get a little cool 20 piece. My guy, I know. I mean, my name's Jay, gonna get a couple bodies. My man Zay right here, the brothers. 
Me and Shakira are the only brothers on the team. What's so, up? I'm Zaid. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> the real Slim Zaidy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my name starts with an X. <laughs> What's up, I'm Mazin. Uh, follow me on Instagram, underscore Mazin, underscore wall. And shout out home team. Some right. more brothers Yuki. right here. Yeah, ben. all right. Ben Terry, <laughs> class of 2018. I'm in your girls' DMs. Whoa! Hey, 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 Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Hey, the real Ben Terry, the real Ben Terry. You already know what it is. Hey, catch a couple bodies, you already know what it is. Hey, yeah, Brennan Terry, class of 2021. This Yuki right here, the assassin. Yeah, uh, I'm Yuki. Follow hey, me on Instagram. Yuki underscore Kubo3. Shout out to home team. Ankle break. Call yeah, Yuki actually made a kid get carried off the game. That was probably the highlight of the year last year. This The other Miles. <laughs> we don't joke around as much on the court, but off the court we always joke around. We have great chemistry. We were all together last year. We just lost a couple players, a couple seniors last year graduated. Everything we do is positive just to keep each other uplifted. Dirty Curry's not here, our team manager, but he also rap on SoundCloud and his music is fire. What's his SoundCloud? Dirty Curry? Dirty Curry, Dirty Curry. Dirty Curry. Dirty Curry. Dirty Curry with a K. With a K and an I. So everybody go listen to Dirty Curry. You don't like it. Get buckets. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Do a spin move. Oh. I'm the world. Hey! hey. There you go. Hey. What's going on? What? Hey. Pass the mic. Hey, my boy, get on that. 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 Get Oh, uh, Black Shores with New Balance. <laughs> <laughs> Can't rap or anything. He ain't gonna take no women. He's not a micro for you. The bad. He's like, uh, when it carries the kids. He's kick. like, oh, oh, I'm 17. I know you're like, oh, man, it's okay. That's the That's some next level stuff. I don't ever use that part, though. And I'm surprised it could fit my size shoe. We don't surprise a lot of people, especially with the first game. Uh, against Morgan. Morgan, Morgan. Yeah. So when we go to Chicago, I feel like we're going to have a chip on our shoulders since everybody already going to count us out, get the crowd going. I'm going to try to talk to them as much mess as I can and even be safe with it. But <laughs> at the same time, I feel like we can win that game with the talent we have. I feel like Shreve's going to go all because people are going to be talking, uh, counting him out, even the whole team. So everybody going to uh, chip in and do what we got to do to get the W. Yeah, I, I think people think we scared. We ain't scared of nobody. I don't care who we playing. Yeah. Uh, they might say they're from Chicago. Yeah. I don't care who we playing. Yeah, man. hashtag no fear. You got to put your shoes on, something I put my shoes on. Man. Hashtag no fear, no love. Yeah. We're going we gonna to go at it, for sure. One game. Yeah, yeah, one game. I'm going I'm I'm to put our fans on blast at Crossroad. <laughs> Come to all the games, because yeah. we all have this one game in the Stravaganza where mm -hmm. it's a big crowd against Brentwood. Our rival. Our rival. Yeah, our rival for like years, like and I don't even know why. 1,200 people. It's like yeah, a thousand people. Yeah, yeah. Gym's packed. Gym's packed, they have a projector outside. People literally like gotta sit outside. You better get there at the front side. Yeah, get the JV game to get a seat for the varsity game. So I hope y'all can come out too. And make sure you get there early. So, uh, watch Reed go off, me go off, Yuki break some ankles. Jake try maybe get a body. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Jake get, get, get a body. I'm getting a body. Like, Miles, do what you gotta do. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna surprise a lot of people. Oh, alumni. Alumni. Yeah. alumni game. Oh, yeah. So we calling out Baron. Come on, Baron Davis out. Yeah. Austin cool. Crozier. Austin Crozier. You might as well get Ira in there, too. Ira. 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 Cole. Alumni. All of them. The Duffins. The Lock Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Some good players that came out of here, man. Hopefully they get this done. Probably put it in a shot. Nah, we'll get smacked, honestly. What? What? I love here, Griggs. Rob. Ira. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Barron, first off, Barron's going for 50. First off, what's going to happen? You're going to blow by Barron, you're going to throw it. My dad was there. Every time he's there, it's fun, but it's also kind of scary. I mean, when I was younger, I used to hate when he came to my games, but now I love it. He tells me just to play my game. He yells at me sometimes, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. He's proud of his son. Very, very proud of him. He always says that he knows what his son is up against, you know, a Hall of Famer, and he knows what, you know, at the next, next level, college, and 
you know, and potentially the NBA, you know, what he's going to face. He's more so focused on that and how he's being prepared on a daily basis. dunked on that kid and Jay was dunking and just everybody was getting hyped up and just had to turn it up a little bit. Every game, man, uh, even if we lost, win, you know, we've been in it and uh, just fighting. Uh, that's, you know, my method for this year, just to fight and just to get after it. Hey, man, the effort right now is good, man. It's second to none, all right? Let's keep it up, man. All right, hey, hey, we gonna win this game. Nobody believe that but us over here. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, cross up on three. One, two, three. Cross up. That's it, man. Shaquille has that dominant mindset, whether if a guy may not be as strong as Sharif or a guy you know, might be shorter than Sharif, but more, you know, shorter and stronger than Sharif and how Sharif's going to be able to attack in angles and, and exploit his defender and then how he's going to make that guy work even harder when he gets the ball with pressure and using his God-given talents. He'll tell me what I'm doing wrong, what moves to do. Like, if, like I score and I look at him, he'll tell me the next move to do and I just try to do that. But everything he says is positive. He doesn't say anything to put me down or make me change the way I play. Shaquille is more so when he talks to Sharif is how to exploit the defender, basically preparing how to read and react different aspects of the game. One thing about Sharif, he's 6'10", and his game is like a you know two three. He does a little bit of everything. He can shoot, he can pass, he can defend. Kubo, class of 2020, point guard for Crossroads. I'm a pass first point guard. I'll get a couple in during the game, so when I need to shoot, I will. Break some money ankle, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call him shit to Yuki. <laughs> when he did the Sorry. Beverly Hills, man, yeah. break his knee. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> today in the second practice of the week.
What's up? I'm in LA right now, just chilling after practice. Gotta show off the shoe collection. A lot of people ask me like what shoes I have, what are my favorite shoes. It's actually two rooms I have some of my shoes. It's the office and upstairs. Upstairs is kind of a mess right now. Just trying to move all the shoes down here. I'm just gonna show off my favorite shoes, what shoes I like to play in and what the shoes mean to me and all of that. All right, so this is office. It's not too many shoes in here, but I'm just getting ready to move all of them down. A lot of these shoes are too big. Like these are size 18 right here. My dad gets me sizes too big because he thinks I'm gonna fit into them. These shoes, these shoes were one of my favorite. They're the Peach Jam shoes. These, I didn't play Peach Jam this year. Just got the shoes from one of the players and I played in these. I think actually all of these shoes I've played in. Not all of them, but most of them. Played in these. This is what when I played Crossroads when I was at Windward, I wore these shoes. That was a couple of times I worn them. These are some Jordan bred ones. I played in these and I also drew all over them. You know, I have three pairs of these, so I just decided to play in one. R.I.P. Jack is my friend from elementary school I lost. R.I.P. my grandpa. 
RIP to my f uh, friend Vic, who's a friend from Orlando, and RIP Granny. And then I wrote pressure with the X across of it. Wrote no mercy, SSJ3. Got to keep the Dragon Ball Z things. And then I wrote a LeBron quote. It says, every night on the court, I give it my all. And if I'm not giving 100%, then I criticize myself. Then I wrote mom on this side, dad. It says calm. So just to look down on my shoes, keep myself calm. So I played in those. Some Jordans I have, I wrote RIP Jack on them. You know, this is like right when I heard that Jack was gone, just I just wrote it on a lot of my shoes. These shoes are special to me. When I was 15, I played in the Vegas tournament with these and I did work. So a lot of these shoes I played in. A lot of them I haven't worn yet. These are a size 17. I still wear these though. These are some Suicide Squad custom Kyries. They're pretty cool. They say Suicide Squad inside of it. I like this part. Like as you can see, there's shoes that haven't been opened and all that. But yeah, this is kind of just the first part of the shoes I brought down. I have a lot of LeBron's, KDs. All the better shoes are upstairs. First, we can say what's up to Kier. Here we got Kier's room. Here, I'm gonna install some of your shoes too. So Shakir has some heat, you know. You feel me with these? What else? You have two pairs of OVO 12s? Okay. Got two pairs of OVO 12s. Kind of dirty. They are kind of dirty, it's all right. The what the Kobe's and the what the LeBron's. You have some heat. Got the Drew League shoes. <laughs> the Drew League shoes. You know, the Supremes. Does it say Supreme if you go like this? The R's in the back though. Here we go to my room now. So my room, kind of a mess with the shoes. I have shoes in all the boxes and all on the floor and all down there, just trying to move them down. But I'll just show off some more. So here's a second pair of my bread ones. I've worn these a lot. They're kind of creased at the top and then Here's a third pair. These third pairs recently got messed up on my visit. People were stepping on them and all that. Got some OVO 10s playing these a lot. You know, me and Bull had to match the shoes one time. These are probably my favorites. I wore these all year last year. The Kobe Preludes. Uh, did a lot in these shoes. Got some Yeezy 350, 350 boosts. Got a couple pairs of those, you know. People say it's hard to find a size, my size in those, but it was actually pretty easy. No, got some LeBrons. Haven't really worn these at all. Might play in these this year. Got some Laser 4s. They're kind of cracking. They're real old. Cracking all on the sides. You know, I keep the running shoes, the Vapor Maxes. I like these a lot. I wear these almost every day. Got some more Yeezys. The Academy LeBrons, you know, they went to when I was at camp. They gave us a couple pairs of shoes, and these were one of them. Oh, my, I didn't even know my goggles were in here. I've been looking for these. Right. So the Academy, it was real fun. Kobe pulled up on a helicopter. That was surprising. And then LeBron and KD came to watch us the last day, and it was just fun playing. It's two of the best players in the world. And I talked to LeBron a little bit, and he, we were talking about college, and he was asking how everybody in the family's doing. So it was real fun. I think it got me way more prepared for the senior year. You know, there's a lot of college guys there playing. A lot of people to look up to, a lot of people that I could learn from there. These, the Craig Sager shoes, RIP Craig Sager. These are very rare. You know, there's only 100 pair made in the world. And I got pair number 17. It says my name in it, it says Sharif O'Neal. But these are very rare. And I've only worn them one time. I mean, worn them one time. I wore them to my dad's um, statue revealing in um, at the Staples Center. And you know, it says Sager Strong on the tongue. Just the the material is very nice, and I might pull these out. Where, where does it say your name on it? It says it on the tag. I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom it says VIP Shreve O'Neal Adidas Boost. These are some. These I actually made these. Put the roses on there. 
There are some iron-on rose patches, so I just ironed those on there. Thought I was doing something cool. Um, I didn't actually play a lot in these. These are um, EYBO Paul George's. Say EYBO on the back. Um, I like these shoes a lot. I don't know why I don't use them to my advantage, but I will start doing that more. More on the Academy. We have the Academy Paul George's. I like these, the red suede, the Academy patch. That's my favorite part. And I like the, the red on blue, kind of matches the school colors. I just recently got these. These are the Yeezy Triple Black uh, 750. So I don't wear these a lot, but once it starts getting cold outside, I'll start pulling those out. Uh, you know, some Vans. Got to keep Vans. Yeah, just a casual shoe. I'm trying to show all the shoes that I wear a lot. Worn these once. I like these a lot. They're just a little too big. Um, I wore these on Kobe Day, the day he played his last game. Wore these all day. And that's the only like memory I have in these shoes. Charles Barkley actually gave me these. Um, where's the other one? Yeah. I like this one because it has the tag on it. And I don't really wear these a lot, but I like the bottom. It says, here it goes not a role model so that's my favorite part of that i'm gonna start wearing these more i just never really got to them you know more vans some pink vans i only wear those on on some days got some lebron still haven't worn these yet i like lebron's a lot i just never really get to pull them out um you know Ron Artest actually gave me these. Ron Artest III, not the OG Ron. You know, I wrote Rosie on the shoe. That's my girlfriend. Just, yeah, I just wrote her name on the shoe. I was bored. I like these a lot. These are just flashy shoes I wear when I'm going to like a party or to like a special event or something. Just wear these, keep the eyes on me. And that's pretty much all the shoes that I have memories in. The best shoe out right now are Kyrie's. Those are my favorite shoes. Um, like those are my favorite recent shoes. My favorite like older shoes to play in are probably some type of Kobe or some type of LeBron. And walking around, I say the best shoes are probably Vapor Maxes. I like, I like how they look. I like the colorways and Another good shoe is the 750, the Yeezys. Nike and Adidas are taking over right now with the shoes. Under Armour has some crazy shoes too. A lot of other brands have some crazy shoes. I wear a lot of Vans and a lot of flip flops. This is my shoe collection, you know. I think my shoe collection isn't up there with like guys like DJ Khaled and all the other NBA guys, but it's on the, it's on the come up. I don't just buy shoes just to buy shoes. You know, I actually have like interest in the design and the people who make them and like the origin they come from. I don't just buy them just because they're that the shoe that's hot nowadays. I know a lot of people probably think that, but like with Yeezys, I'm a big Kanye fan. So like every time he drops a shoe, I try to get it. And I like the design and I, nah, I wasn't really a big Adidas guy, but now I am due to him being on the team. And with Craig Sager, these are actually a gift. I didn't even know these existed until I woke up and there's a box. It was a big box too. I wish I still had it. It's a big Nike box, it had two rows. And he was a good friend of my dad's and I met him a couple times. But these are just probably my favorite shoes I've ever had. Some guys have some crazy shoe collections. Michael Jordan obviously has the craziest shoe collection I've ever seen. DJ Khaled has like stories in his house from the video I saw. And I'm trying to get like that, you know, by the time I make it pro and by the time like all the stuff starts coming, I'm just gonna start collecting shoes more and I'm gonna get a better setup too. I know this setup is very bad. Just gotta get a better setup. It's supposed to be Goku. You know, I got a big painting in my room because I just feel like, I don't know, it's a cool picture. It's a real cool picture. And I'm gonna have three more coming. Everybody asked me why I like Dragon Ball Z so much. So I used to watch when I was little, but it wasn't like such a big impact. But when I first started dunking, it was this old guy. It was like first started dunking. I screamed afterwards. He's like, "You just went Super Saiyan," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then 
And then I just like, I looked up, I was like, oh, it's from Dragon Ball Z. So every time I dunk, I try to scream. It has to be a real hype play. And I scream. And I feel like I've made a big impact on the Dragon Ball Z world. You know, just trying to bring that world closer together. DJ is also a part of the movement. Keep some fun into the basketball world. I feel like a lot of kids look up to that movement. Like once I like said that was like a movement, people were like, oh, I like, I like Dragon Ball Z, so I think Dragon Ball Z should give me my own character. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I have action figures and stuff, you know? It's kind of kind of nerdy, but it's cool. It's cool to me. Yeah, the, the big one. And we got my boy Trunks right here. Got that one also. We got a bunch of small ones. You know, a lot of people sent these to me. It's like cool people gave them to me and a lot of my friends who had them. You know, I just like to have Dragon Ball Z stuff around here. I'm trying to make everybody in my family watch it. They don't mess with it though. It's just me and Shakir. This is for all the people who wanted to see the shoes I have in my room. It's all a mess. It's just all over the place. Got to clean it up, move it downstairs. Oh, I don't know what happened to I had another jersey right here and another picture right here, but got my dad's jersey. Obi, Michael Jordan, LeBron, my dad, all players that inspire me. Kobe gave this to me when I was about nine, um, when he won MVP for the All-Star Game. Him and my dad won it, but he got to keep it and he just gave it to me. He's like, I already have so many, you'll be here one day. So I got to get one early and it's very heavy, but it's the picture. There's another one where it has the both of them combined, but I just think it was real cool. You know, I got the blackout with the jersey and then my dad's blacked out with the jersey. So I think it's a cool picture. They were on my wall. They probably just fell off and my mom put them down. Real cool pictures of me. I put myself up there because that's just where I'm trying to be. It's not like I inspire myself. I kind of do, but like, just that's where I'm trying to be. So I gotta just put it up there with the greats. Tags from uh, this year's uh, camps and um, tournaments and stuff. Like we have the Georgia one, the Jordan and EYBL uh, LA stop. And then we have, what is this? Which one is this? Oh, Virginia. And then we have Elite 100 from last year. And then my dad coached us in Vegas and we won. I had some more, just don't know where they are. Losing a lot of stuff lately. Just, my room's getting packed and I don't know where stuff is going. But this whole wall was filled with like tags and stuff. Yeah, Shakir and Miles, they're kind of the turned up ones in the family. You know, I just kind of stay mellow. Like I'm not on the court, I'm either here or with my girlfriend. Just chilling. Cuffs guy. <laughs> I got cuff right here. <laughs> nah, yeah, he's actually one of the best dancers in the family. My dad could dance too. I mean, I used to dance, but should I FaceTime Bowl? <laughs> All right, too many rings, that's all he gets. He hasn't been over here in a long time, you know. The college process for him is different from mine. We talk sometimes. Uh, just wait until he makes a decision so he could get a lot off his mind and we can start hanging out again. I made my decision early. I think it was after the first EYBL session. I just kind of knew that was a place for me. They treated me like family more than all the other schools. They were constantly talking to me and all that. And I was in Bulls ear a lot. Just be like, yo, come, come to Arizona. We're like, we're the duo. I'll still see him at the top. That's, we'll all see you. We'll all see you. I'll see all my friends. Uh, next year and the year after that, it's just gonna be fun. Uh, yesterday we just got back from my official Arizona visit. It was fun. It was real fun. The players showed me a real good time. The coaches took us paintballing. You know, we went to dinner and had really good restaurants, like the best restaurants. What's up, bro? We went to the best restaurants out there. Ira was my host, you know, I'm real close with him. 
I got real close with all the players. They all treated me like family. You know, Shakir came on a visit too, so he went on one out of his two Arizona visits. And my older brother came too, and it was real fun. Everybody had a good time. My dad was out there. The red and blue game was crazy. My, my whole family was out there, so we had a real good time. Another good fun part was paintballing with the team. Um, Arizona felt like it was a great fit for me. I mean, they were one of the schools that recruited me early. A lot of schools were on me early. I feel like some schools came just because, but I feel like Arizona was probably the best fit for me and they were family and they were constantly talking to me and constantly keeping in touch with me. So I feel like that was the best pick for me. The vibe is different. Just, you know, LA is the city kind of place. And out there it's just desert, a lot of cacti. And is that the right saying, cacti? because I don't think cactus is the word. Like the main part of Tucson is just Arizona. Like that's in the middle and that's where all the people go. Like everywhere you go, you see an Arizona sticker or the Arizona football, basketball, tennis, soccer, Arizona sports, like something there on like a building and something. The people there showed us a lot of love. You know, it was like probably the most love I received from anywhere. They were just all really cool. They were all so positive with us and it was fun. Having Kira on the same team is fun. You know, we practice together. We've always trained together, but it's the first time I like practice with them. And every time we do a team scrimmage in practice, I always pick him on my team. Uh, and today he tackled me in practice, but it was all right. <laughs> Why did you tackle me? I don't know. I was about to fall, so I grabbed you. <laughs> He tackled me in practice today, but it was, it was all fun and games. And playing with him, just you know, it's going to make a lot of a lot of cool highlights. You know, Shakir throwing lobs, he passing it to him, and he's shooting, and it's going to be real fun. Bulls calling me. All right. Yo. What's up? Your hair got way longer. Where y'all been at? We've been chilling. We waiting for you to come back over here. Um, what y'all doing next week, guys? Nothing. We not doing nothing. Yeah, I'll come over. Bro, you want to hear something crazy? What? Kira's 6'4 now. Why y'all lying? <laughs> nah, we were just playing. But yeah, actually. I'm so sad I couldn't go on the visit. Bro, yeah, it was fun. They was asking for you too. Who was? Everybody. Yeah, he right here. Uh, they was just at my game. Why didn't you play? Because your boy didn't go to four hour detention. Like, come on, man. Four hour detention? Nah. You about to bring out some heat this year? Kings on court champion, Bobo. They must just give me the trophy right now. They have a trophy? No. I'm about to win that. I'm about to pull out something crazy. You, hey, you saw you was on Nice Kicks? I was? Yeah. What'd they post? The picture of you wearing the fours. Oh, I was outside of Ryan's thing? Man, that's tight. But yeah, bro, you definitely got to come over next weekend. And is that Halloween weekend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You lit. What you about to be for Halloween? I'm going to be you. All right, I'm gonna be Kier. Kier, you gotta be bold. All right, that's the Halloween costumes. It's a daily conversation with Bowl. You know, shout out to my man Greg. Greg's not here right now. He's off in college doing work. Shout out my man Jules. Oh yeah, I gotta shout out my man Brandon, Jalen, Kelvin, Tyler, Bryson, Peyton, Teddy. That's the people I hang out with the most. You know, shout out my girlfriend Rosie. Just being chill. Shout out everybody in my family. Shout out my teammates, obviously. Teammates on Cal Supreme, teammates on Crossroads, my coach. And shout out to everybody in Arizona. The O'Neill family, I think, was probably different. People don't really like know how the O'Neill family is because every time we're out, we don't act like how we do while we're in here. Like if you spend a day in here, you'll see how crazy everybody is. You know, sometimes we fight. Sometimes the house is all messy because we're just all in that crazy mood. It's always a lot of people over here. Like everybody has like four or five friends over here and it's just a, uh, my mom has to deal with like 20, 30 kids. And I have like my friends over here. 
Shakir has his friends. We all just go outside on the trampoline. We have a trampoline and we put a hoop on the trampoline, kind of like how the sky zone feeling is. And we just play 21 out there and we just dunk on each other. And we always play music in the house. So like, that's a unique thing about us. I think people don't really know how we are behind uh, like closed doors. And um, that's just how we are. Why are you watching Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> Shakir watches Love and Hip Hop. On the court, you know I'm getting buckets. What's your girl? We in Target, ooh. On the court, I don't know. Reef on Snapchat, Reef got some glasses, hairline clean. Never mind, delete that, delete that. Again. Well, I forgot one more shout out. Shout out Quavo Offset and Takeoff and Rel. Those are my guys. They're you know, always looking out for me and my brothers. Even though we got to get that part three game. You know, actually, a lot of rappers have been calling me out lately. It's kind of weird. I think they saw that Quavo could play, so they was like, oh, I could play too. But I mean, he's good. League bound. If he wasn't rapping, he'd be hooping. YG called me out. SOB, RBE, that's, they called me out. Bro, we have to play them. They actually, they're actually good. Uh, who else called me out? No, I think they played, I think a couple of them played for Oakland Soldiers. So they're actually good. Um, who else called me out? A Boogie called me out. A lot of rappers. I don't think they won it. You know, I got way better since the Quavo videos. At least I think. I just want to get all the rappers together, play a little game with them. That'd be fun. I got to have Quavo on my team. I haven't been on this team yet. I um, just want to say, uh, talk to my friends and family. I decided to commit to uh, Monsters University. <laughs> Don't you have that hat? Yeah, it's a ring. Monsters University, Monsters Inc. That's a great movie here. You know, shout out to my boy Marvin out there doing work, you know, left uh, high school early to go prove that he could play at any level. All my Arizona guys are going to do work. De'Aaron Fox. Oh, yeah, he's also on the Dragon Ball Z wave, so I mess with him a lot. T Ferg. Uh, my boy uh, Gary Payton. I grew up with him. Our dads played together. And he's on the Bucks now, and he's going to work. Dennis Smith Jr., I think he's going to win Rookie of the Year. Dwayne Bacon's also going to work. Josh Jackson. I'm missing Lonzo Ball's going to work. You know, he had, the, he had the slump the first game, but then he proved everybody wrong the second one. Kuzma, he's a sleeper. People, I didn't know he was that good, to be honest. I actually have Kuzma on my fantasy team, so every time he goes to work, he'll get me some points, so I like him a lot. Pause. I tried to DJ, it didn't really work out. <laughs> Got my Kobe poster. It's my favorite player right here, Giannis, LeBron. Got some trophies over there. Star Worship. Got the wig. Arizona showing love. Gave me some t-shirts. Balenciagas. They're kind of dirty right now. Should we game? I usually play in some Bronze, Kobe's, or he showed you Julie shoes. But yeah, shout out to MJ. That's pretty much it. I'll give you shout outs. <laughs> shout out to my man Hersey Miller. Shout out to Terrence Clark. He's no, he's getting buckets right here. Man. Shout out to Home Day. Bro. So off the bunnies. <laughs> you wanna put I have on socks so don't cross me. <laughs> no, I don't have to let you in. Alright, let's play. I gotta get ball first, but I have on socks. Oh yeah, shout out to Rondo too. I got the I got the hesitation down. Don't guard me because I will hezzy you. <laughs> oh, 
you need to call back. It's my ball, bro. That sounds crazy about Carol's wall. He started a little game. <laughs> Broke him down. I'm about to jelly you. <laughs> you got it. Hey. You jumped way too early. Come on, man. Five more points. We'll live with that. Oh, got him stumbling. Oh, oh. Oh. Should I boom him? Wow, I'm not gonna shoot it. Wow. Oh, you gonna boo me right now? I'm yes, I'm a jump. <laughs> <laughs> you went around. Are you moving in? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Look at his ankle. I'm too nice on the little hoop. And if I score three more times, I'll win. You're going to miss it sooner or later. Damn. All right, two more. I'm playing defense. Yes. Yo. Oh. Miles. Miles. You on the home team. Say what up. You say he stopped playing because you broke his ankles? No, I'm not letting you duck with me. <laughs> what are you playing? You want playing? Jimmy! We're playing, uh, playing one on one because he called me out. You on Jelly again because I'll glass it. You gonna see my jelly? Jelly you. I'm here. Look at the lockup. Watch this, he, he about to boom me, but <laughs> we had. Jam fam. Oh, we got some All right, I'm gonna jelly you, jelly you one time and I'm done. My ball, Bucky, let's go. Oh. 
Oh. Don't let, don't let it come off the back rim. All right, I'm going back to Jelly Fan. Give me that. You're a duck on me. <laughs> what score? 45 to zero. <laughs> I got 45. Too nice for little hoops. Yeah, keep leaving me space. Yeah. Come on, East Bay, are you with the socks on? Oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I play defense with my back tire. I'm blocking it. Oh, what happened? I'm about to go off right now. Go get the ball. Watch this, I'm about to turn up. And don't throw it to me right now, it's gonna be a problem. Woo! Don't throw it to me again, it's gonna be a problem. Say I won't. Oh, 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 where you Ooh. Mix them up. It's game point for me, I'm sorry. I already won, I had like 30. Done. Champagne to celebrate. <laughs> Don't even try. Apple juice to celebrate. He only wanna dunk when I'm not around. Here, that's too easy. I move up to 12 feet. There you go, 12 feet. Hey! I'm about to show up the bounce. Oh. Oh. Got another one for y'all. Bounce, bros.
Imitate LeBron. LeBron, imitate him. Oh, for what? Okay, Kobe. <laughs> uh, Zion. Um, who else? Bowl. All right, <laughs> Lamelo. Uh, who else? Imitate me. What's your celebration? Celebration. I This is Ryan. Does it go in? It goes in. Imitate James. So James trying to dunk. You, you gotta yell layup though. Yeah, layup. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like. Layup! <laughs> <laughs> it went in. <laughs> layup. He tries to dunk, he'd be like. That's the old man bounce. Come up the dribble. Here goes mom right here. Come up the dribble. Yeah, here she is. Come up the dribble. What a surprise. We were just imitating James. What? Shakira's imitating James. What did you do? She was mad she wasn't on the last episode. Damn. Hold on, Beyond. That's my little sister. Number one, sixth grader in the country. <laughs> Say what's up. Yes, you see how tall she is? 6'11. Already violating Shakira. Never. Mimi, number one sophomore in the country. Wow. Shakira, number one freshman in the country. My mom, my number mom. number one mom in the country. If I carry the bag. Sure. You see, I'm in my bag. This is my mom. Hi. This is my mom, Shawnee. It's me. You just got done with the interview. You just did that. Oh, yes. That's my face being full of makeup because it's not normally how it looks. But yeah. I really taught him everything he knows. I'd like to give a shout out to Home Team Hoops. You guys take care of my boys. I follow you on Instagram. It's an honor. Okay, here's your back. My mom, she taught us how to shoot, dunk. All of that. Right? My dad, he ain't do nothing. All of that is me. My dad taught us how to shoot free throws. <laughs> and she taught us everything else. Show them a bang out real quick, Miara. Here, I got the backpack and the phone. Show them something nice. You know, number one sixth grader in the country. Showtime. Get a boom. Ooh! What's your celebration? Oh, yeah, you need a celebration. We all have one. What's yours? I just scream and, and bang on my chest. No, go like this. <laughs> no, make it, make it your own. Just think of something. Just do a little dance after you dunk. Ooh, you miss. <laughs> oh, with the self lob. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you shot that? 
you, have you lost the game in your little Chevy Hills League? Nope, she don't lose. She too nice. You need to get her a mixtape. They offer her to play for the eighth grade girls. Cause they're too afraid she's gonna dominate too much in the sixth grade girls. I mean, she's really tall for her age. But she almost dunking too. How much Mimi averaged last year? Like 24? My, my freshman year, I averaged, I think it was three points. But Mimi, she was going off. She averaged like 23. Miara, I, she really had almost like 60 a game. That's 30 feet right there. You about to dunk it? Hey, 30 feet, never done before. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Mia. Yeah. You can't dunk on 10s here. Same movement. I already started that. Gosh. So same movement is our thing. I'm gonna start screaming after everything I do. I think it's come to the point. A dribble, scream, shot, scream, pass, scream. Miara's like the Greek freak. Hey. Hey. How old are you, Miara? 11? She 11. Dunking on. What is this hype? You're gonna see. It's like, cool. Eight something, I think. Show them what's good. Something like that. Oh! What's that, like nine? One more try. Look at me, you are a donkey. Yes, you made it. Hey, talk to him. Watch out for some home team. Come bring Chloe down here. It's our little dog. There we go. This is Chloe right here. It's my sister's dog. She's real small. I take care of her though. She's shaky right now. She just wants to run around. Let her run. See where she goes. How old's Chloe? Two months, I believe. She's real small. Four months. Four actually. months. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know where she went. That's Chloe. That's everybody in the family. Hi, boy. What's up? It's a wrap for this episode. I'm Sharif O'Neill. This is my time for. It's a wrap for this episode. My name's Shakira O'Neill. It's my episode. My time for. <laughs>